We started with generators because we share the passion of inspiring leaders to redesign how they lead and run organizations in a way that is actually in tune with life instead of life destructive. And to teach us about life, nature really is our greatest teacher. If we zoom in on its intelligence at work, its processes, dynamics, structures, systems, cycles, nature constantly evolves, regenerate, collaborate, seemingly effortlessly. So what can our business models, our innovation of materials, the way we lead and collaborate, learn from nature? And how do we build the thriving, resilient, vibrant organizations where people thrive as well? that are geared for the future? That's the kind of questions we take leaders out in nature to explore. We need a different type of leadership. A new norm of leadership has been asked for, has been demanded because of the situations that we now face. And creating a deep, stimulating learning environment where people can explore their own thresholds, but also be in a group of very different people from very different backgrounds whilst we explore a new definition of sustainability, a new definition of agile leadership, a new definition of the organisation as a living system, then something special emerges out of a deep connection in nature whilst exploring regenerative leadership. I think uh, from a practical point of view, one of the things that I experienced and learned uh, about myself that I should do more about is listening. It's been, uh, it's been good for me. And then, of course, I don't have my mobile phone and I don't have access to the surroundings outside Sweden and the, this wood. That means a lot too, because it's really healthy. It's very, very healthy to be uh, unplugged and just present. I think that's actually how I will see this trip. I've been present. The content, the ideas, the experiences, these moments have have have, have really kind of uh, filtered down so deeply um, that I feel very excited about these sort of immediate promises and ideas that I have around what I want to take back and what I want to explore and what I want to try. Um, but what I'm also especially excited about is that I believe there are ways in which my experience from the last three days will come to the surface that I didn't expect. Um, and ways that the ideas, the, the new thinkings that I've explored will make themselves heard that I perhaps haven't planned for or anticipated. And to be honest, that's just as special. We are, all of us, the leaders of the change that we want to see. I've been holding on to banks and waiting for someone else to change the course of the river or to make it easier for me or, or to, you know. Uh, and I have to let go and I have to believe that I can, I can be some of the change that I want to see happen. Not just defined by someone else, but defined by myself. What we're now seeing is good, hard and fast evidence that from a shareholder perspective, as well as from um, quality of service and longevity of the organisation, that actually embracing living systems approaches enables our organisations not able to just survive, but actually thrive in these volatile times ahead. Another thing that I found quite profound was seeing the resonance in the, in, in the participants' eyes where we explored the business models and the organizations already out there who are actually integrating that into their value chain, into how they work with stakeholders, into how they have designed their organizations and how those organizations are thriving financially as well. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not my